Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today I want to offer you a free search engine optimization keyword finder tool. That's a mouthful, but let's go over what search engine optimization is first. SEO, what is that? Why do we need it? Why do we need to understand it? And I, I personally, as I research it more and more and the more I learn about it, it's the people that have a really good understanding of what SEO is and how to use it are the people that are usually more successful in the um, getting the traffic that is free. You have two different kinds of traffic and I've talked about that in other videos. There's paid traffic, you pay for it with money, and then there's free traffic, which isn't really free because you're paying for it with your time. But money or time which one do you have and how do you want to find your traffic so i'm going to show you how to find the free traffic or the traffic that you spend with your time and not with your money and that's what search engine optimization is basically if you go online and you go to search for something you're using um, the whole process you might go in and search for um, how do i lose 10 pounds or something like that and when you type it in the the articles that pop up or the videos that pop up are the ones that have keywords they kind of have a more in-depth knowledge and they're picking keywords that um, help them to rank on that first page because if you're anything like i am there could be thirty thousand pages um, in that search that comes up i don't know anybody that goes to page 25 to find something now maybe you do maybe you've been in marketing and you're like hey i'm going to go find out what other people have because i know these people on the front page are using their search engine optimization skills pretty good idea but the average person stays on that first page and they're going to find the answer to the question so your goal as a marketer is to get on that first page if you can so i'm going to offer a free tool to you today that especially if you're new and you've never done it and you don't want to put any money out there's all kinds of tools out there that you could pay monthly fees for and again a lot of us don't want to put money out in the beginning so i've got a free tool for you today so let's go ahead and get started um we're going to go through the process okay we're going to go into google and we're going to google let's see what i have up um, click funnels what is click funnels i use that at first uh, just so we could see what comes up and as you can see um, videos i i select videos and russell brunson comes up a lot so if you are trying to end up on this first page and rank high you're actually competing with russell brunson who owns click funnels and it's probably extremely competitive um spencer mecham uh, mecham has gotten his um, face in here as a number three but everything else almost the majority of these are from the business so what you would have to do is go in and find other keywords so you might start talking about sales funnels or something like that let's look up what is a sales funnel and see what pops up okay in our search so let's go here and let's just see what happens how different it might become all right so that's everything you always want to hit if you're looking for something to put on your video you want to go under videos if you're looking for a blog then you might want to stay on the all page but I will say uh, a lot of the videos that come up are also blogs if you look right here where this one says youtube.com I know that this is a video but see Russell's right there what is the sales funnel um, the second one here is a blog um, because it doesn't say YouTube so if a blog has an embedded video little tip there if you are really big about posting blogs on your website and you're trying to get traffic put an embedded video on there and it's going to also pop up on the video page so it's just another way to get more traffic but here's one here from 2016 um, if you if you notice more people are on this page besides Russell so um, I think Russell only landed here once which is pretty good so if you want to make a video about click funnels you might not use the word click funnels in your title because what's going to happen is it's highly competitive and you're going to get pushed way way back so instead you want to maybe just say what is a sales funnel or say something about that now how can i even go in more in depth i usually start out with that just asking questions like what what would people who are wanting to um, look at my channel what are questions that they might ask sometimes i use real questions that people send to me and sometimes i just think to myself what would i 
So here's the free tool that I want to show to you. So we're going to say, what is a sales funnel? And we're going to go to, it's called ubersuggest.com. It's free. I'll put the link below. Neil Patel, this is him right here, created this site and he offers it for free. Um, there's his name. Um, great person to follow on YouTube, by the way, if you're really into blogging, SEO and things like that, he's he's been around for a while. Um, so definitely follow him. Um, if, if that's if you want to dig in a little bit deeper but this one says click funnels and as you can see it the difficulty levels 36 the search engine op optimization difficulty is 56. the higher that number is the more difficult but let's go ahead and type in what is a, a sales funnel because remember we already decided uh, click funnels would be too hard to to compete with look at this just by changing that word the seo difficulty goes all the way down down to 10 and it's easy so if you're writing a blog or if you're making a video and you want people to search and find you use the word sales funnel instead of click funnels now you might say yeah but i use click funnels and i want want to tell people about it well you could have a title that says um, what is the best sales funnel and people are going to go yeah what is that best sales funnel and then you can go on to explain click funnels inside your article but your keyword search that main search is going to be what is a sales funnel does that make sense um, so you're still getting your information in there but you're looking at the the difficulty levels um, all right what are some other things we can do here in Herb uber suggest um, if you go down it says keyword ideas so we started out what is a sales funnel now the system's going to tell us what are some more keywords that we can use in our description in our blog or in our seo part tags in our video and here are some other um, what is this what is a sales funnel and you can just go down here on the side and you can get other ideas these are other questions or keyword ideas that you can get and you can look at all of the um, analytics that comes with it cpc means click per cost per click i'm sorry so the lower this number is the better it is for you the less competitive if that click is really high again remember you're competing with the big dogs you're, you're competing with click funnels and you don't want to do that you want that to be low so this says here what is a sales funnel or how do you create a sales funnel okay that would be another way to do it um we can also go down here and get content ideas so if you're still thinking okay i want to talk about sales funnels and insert click funnels is in there what are some content ideas that i can use and again um, what is what the heck is a blog sales funnel okay uh four phases to sales funnel so these are all different um articles or content ideas that you can use and these are actual ones that are out there now he gets into backlinks for bloggers so this is definitely a good place to find out about backlinks and how many are with these articles so if you want to dig in deeper that's a whole nother um, video um, but this person here is on Facebook a lot notice that and they're pretty successful down here the one right below it is on Pinterest a lot so don't I don't want you to look at those and think I have to be on Facebook or I have to be on Pinterest there are people who are successful on every single platform the key for you is what platform do you enjoy using if you love Instagram like you're on the go a lot and you're one of those people that you know you're always on your phone and Instagram you just love it then build your business on Instagram if you love to make videos build your business on YouTube I think that's what's important because there are successful people on every single platform LinkedIn I've, I've seen people um, be very very successful there so yes this is important information but you you need to be on the platform the social media platform that best fits you let's do another one um here's um how do I organize my social media okay there's just the a general question now again I'm not looking for a blog I'm looking for videos because I am on YouTube so let's use that and here you go um, there's this is what I want to do when I'm trying to rank I want to rank on this front page I want people to grab my video now here's one of, let's see she's ranking one two three four here's somebody I love on um, YouTube this, she's got a video ranking number four her na name is Sunny and she talks about a lot about uh, creating a business with YouTube and 
in this particular video she talked about social media marketing and how she's organized she made this video back in 2015 and i'm pointing this out because this is why i love youtube she did this four years ago and it's still ranking and if i was looking the chances are i could click that it's the fourth one down and you know she may in her video be suggesting different tools i'm sure she's suggesting a certain social media organization tool for me to use because she's probably going to go through it but my point is it's evergreen it stayed here for four years and she's still getting views uh, we're going to get rid of that commercial now i'm not going to go into the video and watch it and everything but i can assure you that sunny is recommending a certain a social media organization tool for us to check out and it's an affiliate link for her and again she made this four years ago um, but we can um, look at some of the keywords that she used we can pop them into that uber suggest now i do have a vidiq and tubebuddy that i pay for but i always start out free with uber suggest and then when i pull up videos that's when i go a step further you don't have to do that okay i just happen to that's where i'm at right now with what i like to use Two months from now you might say well why aren't you using that anymore but that's where i'm at right now but uber suggests so i can put in here go back and let's put in let's go to the top here ask a question what is a social media management tool okay let's or how do I organize my social media posts? You could write that. Okay, look at that. Hardly any competition when you get into social media management. And I actually have a video that I did about Hootsuite. It was way back when I started, it's almost a year old, and that video has gotten the most views because I've learned that if you start looking at areas that everybody else isn't making videos with, um, Sunny actually calls it, she calls them gap videos but if you go in and start looking for things that have very little competition and you make videos in that area your videos are going to have a be um, more likely to be on that first page your, your search engine optimization is going to push you and help you to rank first so that's another little thing that you want to look at but here we are <clears throat> and we can see not a lot of competition so let's look at some keyword ideas now here you can go a step further you can pick your favorite social media management tool and type that word in and see how the competition is there um 26 keyword ideas what is social media management what is it you could do a whole video or a blog about describing that tool social media management tools for free there's another one now that one is higher the cost per click is higher because um, maybe people are looking for that what is what are the free tools that are out there so this again is a free link a, a free tool for you to look for keywords um let's go back over here um, at the content ideas i just wanted to bring this to your um put it in your tool but toolbox if, if you could say um so that you have something to use for free because i know when you're new there's so many things out there and some of these um, keyword search tools can get pretty expensive now if you're using them and you really understand how to use them and the, you know you're, you're to that point where you really understand what you're doing then by all means start paying for them but this is a great one to start with it's free and it helps you to start getting the idea of what search engine optimization is so i hope this was helpful again it's called ubersuggest.com i'll go ahead and put the link below and b before you go first of all thank you for making it to the end here but before you go give me a thumbs up let me know how you like the video if this is something that you think that you're going to use or go check it out and come back and tell me you know if it helped you and also subscribe to my channel i put out as of today a video every day well, six times a week monday through saturday to help you build your business online affiliate marketing using youtube is basically where my niche is um, that's where i developed i started out just affiliate marketing and then found that my favorite my favorite social media platform is youtube and i i'm sold on it this is where i spend all of my time providing content so again get out there pick the one you like the best and start getting your business built you've got this tool now that you can use for free and start seeing what you can you can build from there all right thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video